So we just got the Halloween event for Diablo 4 that's going to last until November 5th. And if you're still playing a lot of Diablo 4 and you're still farming for experience or gold or items, this event just absolutely juiced pretty much anything you're trying to farm. Now, the first bit of this and something that wasn't actually announced is we did also get the Mother's Blessing buff, which is giving a 35% increase to experience and a 50% increase to gold drops specifically from defeating monsters. And keep in mind, both of these buffs are multiplicative. And what's really cool is that specifically with the experience, this is actually useful now if you're somebody that's been playing since the start of season six, because for pretty much all of the previous Diablo 4 seasons, if you started playing at the start of a season, you were usually already maxed out before any of the events of that season started. So the increased experience was basically just if you wanted to level up alt. But now with how Paragon levels work, that 35% increased experience is actually massive and will actually increase your power progression. Almost nobody is 300 Paragon. The amount of experience you need for that is absolutely absurd. And of pretty much all the people that are 300 under Paragon, probably 100% of them are on the most OP Spiritborn classes. So almost no one's up to that level. I'm not even close to 300 Paragon. So just getting this buff is absolutely absurd for progression. Now, while the gameplay portion of this event is pretty simple, it's actually very lucrative. And this all revolves around shrines. Again, a lot of the previous events have also done this. Hopefully we get some more unique events in the future that aren't specifically tied to shrines. But nonetheless, you're we're getting a lot of additional loot from shrines. Now, all of these shrines specifically have to be in dungeons. And I think the best way to farm these is just to farm nightmare dungeons. And you can also go do all of the rift walker events because when you enter the rift walker dungeon, any shrines you find in there are also still considered to be in a dungeon. So those will also be part of this event. Now, anytime you go click on one of these shrines, one of two things is going to happen. You're either going to get a goblin spawn or you're going to get a butcher spawn. Now, both of these are a little bit different than normal. So first off, for the goblins, these are just normal goblins, but it does seem like you can spawn more than one. I actually haven't gotten a greed shrine to see if they also put the goblin spawning portion of the greed shrine in as well, because from some previous events, when you got the greed shrine, every certain amount of kills you got would spawn another goblin. So I'm not sure if that's in the game, but it seems when you get a goblin spawn, it can either be one goblin or sometime you can also get multiple goblins but killing those goblins will give you normal goblin loot which with season six they're absolutely cracked they give you a ridiculous amount of loot and on top of that they're also dropping their goblin bags again and this actually wasn't announced either and i'm not sure which way these are bugged because these goblin bags used to stack in some of the previous events but they're not stacking right now so i'm not sure if they weren't supposed to drop or if they're just bugged and not stacking right now but when you use these goblin bags they just give you a handful of loot and some materials. I haven't gotten a legendary bag. That was something you could previously get as well. I just don't know if I haven't gotten lucky and gotten one or if legendary bags also aren't part of this event. Presumably they would be and those legendary bags used to drop a ridiculous amount of loot. So that could be a way to get a ton more loot as well. Now when it comes to the butcher, the butcher isn't the normal butcher. He's actually the butcher from the infernal horde. So he's like the demon infused butcher that looks completely different. And also he he's going to drop different loot. Now he's going to drop some of the normal stuff, just a random assortment of loot and different keys, which it does also seem like he will drop at least one infernal horde key every time as well. And since you can't craft those now, that's actually pretty good loot. But on top of that, instead of being the normal butcher that always drops his weapon, he instead drops infernal horde uniques. And it seems like it's a guaranteed chance to get at least one infernal horde unique, kind of similar to how defeating the count at the end of an Infernal Horde run always gives you at least one of their specific uniques. Instead, the Butcher here is now giving you one of those uniques as well. And some of those uniques are very sought after and they're kind of hard to farm, especially since you can't craft Infernal Horde keys anymore. So this is actually a really good way to go and farm for those Infernal Horde uniques.
Now, a pretty big downside to this event compared to the previous events that featured shrines is that now we don't have any nightmare sigils that have the affix that spawns a lot more shrines within the dungeon. We only have affixes that give us increased experience or gold, so you can't target farm nightmare sigils with those, but usually every nightmare dungeon you go in will have one or more shrines in them. You just won't be able to target farm them as quickly as you were able to in previous events. But well, that's pretty much the entirety of this event. And while it is kind of boring, it is also incredibly strong for general progression. You're just getting a ridiculous amount of increased experience with the buff, tons of additional gold from killing enemies. And then while you're doing any dungeon content, you're gonna be coming across these shrines that will always give you a ton of additional loot. Because whether you get the butcher or a goblin or multiple goblins, you're getting a ton of additional loot. Killing both of those gives just a massive influx of random resources, random pieces of gear, uniques, keys, boss summoning mats. So you're pretty much just going to be boosting up all of the loot and experience you would normally be getting. But that's pretty much all I want to go over. So thanks for watching.